to bust a myth. The myth in this case centers around the allegation that taking your base bridge back does not alter your tuning. It only makes a strong uh, string tighter. Okay. Okay, we're in tune in the G string. And we're in intonation. Generally, the note stays the same. It wavers a little bit, but that would not show up as being out of tune. I won't even try it at the 24th fret. Now, the 24th fret is a little sharp. Well, let's go for the 12th fret, which we know is in tune, and intonation is good. So now we're going to take this apparatus here and bring the bridge back and retune the string. We're going to bring the bridge back way far. And now, we're going to tune the string up again. semitone flat at the 24th fret. So I guess that pretty much debunks that. In intonating an instrument, we want to hear the harmonic exactly in the middle of the string, letting both halves vibrate sympathetically, causing a note one octave above the tonic or the open string. And we want to match that note with the fretted note which there is a problem already because we have to press the string down to get that fretted note, thereby sharpening it, thereby having further need for adjustment on the intonation end. If you like to play with a higher action, you're going to need to bring the bridge back in order to compensate for pushing the string sharp. That's why this adjustment is here, not so you can make your strings tauter, I can imagine if all the bass players listened to that specific bit of advice about bringing your strings all the way back to make them tauter, I guess some other bass players will get more work because they'll be able to play in tune.